Hi, I'm Scott Shuttleworth from Montgomery Investment Management and welcome to this week's Video Insight. Today I want to discuss big data and just a few of its implications for the business world. Now firstly, this video blog is not intended to be a recommendation to invest in any of the companies mentioned. The investment research process extends to a much higher degree of detail than you might find in a short video blog. So before taking any investment decisions, it's best to see, seek the advice of a licensed professional who can determine if such a decision is right for your circumstances. So today I want to discuss big data and the opportunities it can create for companies. Did you know that every day 2.5 quintillion bytes of data is created? That's 2.5 billion billion bytes of data created daily. Now that's an interesting factoid, but what matters is what the data is used for. We're now in an era where companies have the ability to drive sales and profitability by exploiting the insights of all that data collected. One example is something you're probably seeing daily, Netflix. It's fairly obvious that Netflix is using your viewing preferences in order to recommend, show, recommend other shows or movies that you might like. But Netflix is also using this data to work out how to design shows which will be big hits. Volkswagen has begun using an algorithm which uses insights from consumer behaviour models to market its cars. The algorithm produced a 14% increase in orders from Volkswagen dealerships. Health insurance companies uh, are also attempting to collect data on individuals in order to access their likely requirements and offer tailored insurance products. Big data even enters the spectrum of property purchases. We've previously discussed how we envision the revenue opportunity for properly listing businesses such as realestate.com.au and domain.com.au being some percentage of all the money people spend on marketing their properties. In terms of expenses such as print and online advertising, uh, house pictures, signage, videos and other items, the figure is about $1.3 billion. If you include agent sale commissions, you're looking at circa $6 billion. To really begin to take a, a larger part of this money pie, uh, a, a listing website has to provide value both uh, on the buying side and the selling side of the property uh, exchange. Currently, it does very well in having a property sold once the agent has the listing, but it could do a lot more in sourcing the listing for the agent. Notably, there are other firms providing this service and taking up to one third of the commission as a fee. As an illustrating example, on a $1 million property, this is a $5,000 fee. So how can a listing website exploit this opportunity? For one, it's possible to do this incrementally with big data. It's possible to collate data about individuals online and use this data to predict whether a property viewer is wanting to sell a property. This is achievable via knowing some demogra general dem demographic information, as well as what they've been searching for, and of course asking whether they'd like to contact an whether they'd like an agent to contact them. This lead can then be monetized depending on the, prof the probability of them listing based on those demographics, search results and other data. Whilst we aren't expecting an immediate boost to profitability from these technologies in FY18 or 19, we're expecting that the capabilities of many companies in Australia and globally will be transformed by big data over the next decade. That's all for this week. Please follow us on Facebook and Twitter.